Repeat after me. Today, when I watch this show, I will learn, develop, and gain inspiration for the rest of my peers and most importantly, myself. Today, I will gain inspiration to leave every bit of it behind me for those who need it more than ever. Please enjoy the show and gain inspiration. Thank you. No, I dare you to go do it, Legend. No, I order you do it. No, Legend. You go do that thing. Come on. Fuck you. Ow. You started it, not me. Screw you. You started it. Oh, oh. Oh, hey. Hey. Sorry. Me and Legend, this is what we do regularly. Sorry. Anyways. Um, Legend's actually going to be with us for a short time today because he's got something to say about the topic we're going to be saying today. Now, the topic we are going to be discussing today, since we are now in the first episode of the sixth season, we're going to be discussing a topic about drugs. So, now, we're going to go through the introduction, we're going to go through the reasons, the five W's, what, when, where, why, and how, and then we're just going to try and find a solution to the drugs, drug habits. We're even going to be discussing a poll that's going to be happening also today. But I want to ask, has anybody, any one of you been on drugs before? Have you ever taken uh, opiates like Oxycontin, uh, Percocets, you know, smoke weed, smoke hash, uh, uh, try crys uh, crystal meth, meth, anything. There's all kinds of drugs you can think of. Now... I'm going to ask all of you one question, and this part really pisses me off. This this episode actually pisses me off. I'm not even as nice and happy as I seem. The reason this episode pisses me off is because I have some, uh, I sort of have history with this kind of thing. I'm not mentioning any names or mentioning any stories, but <clears throat> my point of the matter is this. <clears throat> it is when I hear that people are on drugs, guys, it is a piss off. As you know... You're a healthy person. You're developing, trying to make a career for yourself. You're trying to do shit for yourself. And after, all of a sudden, what comes into your life? Drugs comes into your life. And what happens to you? You fall apart. You don't want to do that shit anymore. You just want to sit on your ass, do drugs, and waste the fuck away. Okay? So, now, let's do introduction on drugs here. Okay? Let's do some introduction on drugs. Now, Legend, one one. Today, I am gonna make you do the introduction to drugs, but you already did that on another recording because we're gonna be we're gonna be doing that recording for you. Okay, so let's go to Legend's recording and everybody say bye to Legend because Legend has to go see his Caribbean friends. Okay, say bye. Wagwan. All right, see ya, Legend. Let, but let's play your video first, Legend. Wagwami Legend. Today, in real talk, we talk about drugs, man. Drugs very bad for you, man. For your inner system. Where people actually get hurt from drugs, man. Trust me, me friend had drugs before in his system. He smoked crack, man. Some crack. And then after what happened to him, he died. About a year later, because he all he cared about was his crack. About the time he was finished, he had no home, no family, hell, no ox tail left. He was finished. So as I try to say, man, I know the experience by seeing what people try to do to themselves doing drugs, man. Don't do it. Drugs are stupid, man. Very, very stupid. You do drugs, you make trouble for yourself. Do you really want to do drugs, man? Nah, I say no that to do you man. You be bad man, you do drugs. Yeah man. Now take care man. That was about drugs man. Well, legend 
I just got a little bit embarrassed he saw himself on camera. But the point of the matter is this, people. Now we're going to get down to business here, okay? So, introduction to drugs. What do you think is in drugs? Okay, opiates. Now, when you take an oxy, okay, oxy fucking cotton. You guys take it and think, oh, fuck, yeah, it's so fucking good. It's a good high. Well, guess what? Let me ask you all a question, okay? Let me ask you a question here. Do you know what's in those drugs? Do you guys even know what's in a pill that you take that's involving behind the counter that helps you get energetic and helps you get drowsy by the end of the night? Do you know what the fuck is in it? What's in it <coughs> is there's actually steroids into those pills. Do you know how I know for a fact? I watched a documentary and <coughs> there's actually steroids and oxycontin. That's the most. Percocets, they do, they have, there's a little bit of steroids, but not as much as an oxy. An oxy contains a lot of steroids, where when you first take it, you can do anything you want. You can work out, you can go for a power walk. Hell, you could probably go for a big jog around the fucking globe if you wanted to, probably. Okay, but then around the other night, once that steroid, once you use all that energy that that steroid and that pill is giving you, then it's going to contain when you get the drowsy side of it, where you start passing out with cigarettes in your fucking hand, when you start doing this shit and that shit. You know, I'm going to ask you a question. What kind of life is this? You're not even using your normal body anatomy fuel, but you're going to use a pill that contains all kinds of bad stuff to go into your liver and then after you take it and you get that energy and you use all that which could give you a heart attack to remind you because there's steroids in it and then after you start falling asleep passing out like this like you know what come on you know same with crystal meth crystal meth is the worst for that you're shooting up needles into your goddamn arms. You're doing this and doing that to make yourself feel good. What the hell is wrong with you commuters? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Why do you guys have to do drugs? Okay, listen. I get that some people have problems. I get that some people have this thing where they cannot think by themselves unless they have drugs. I understand that. I understand. But let me ask you a question. Is it worth it? Is all this shit worth it? Okay, and you guys, all you guys are going to be doing is you're either going to put yourself in the goddamn ground or you guys are going to go through this thing called withdrawal. The withdrawal symptoms are really, really bad. Sweats. Um, the shakes. Oh my god, hot flashes, cold flashes, there's so many things. Even vomiting, um, depression. Withdrawal symptoms gives you every symptom you can think of. Let's just put it that way. Your mind is not working at the time. No, your mind is not working. Okay? Your mind is not working at the time. Because your body wants those drugs so badly that you will do anything to get them. Don't you notice that some people who rob banks and steal the, steal the cash, that they do it and they use the money more on drugs than anything else? Or don't you notice when there's guys that rob you on the street for your money? Or if there's homeless people that more like some homeless people that want money but then they use it to get drugs or alcohol? What do you think is going to happen to you if you take drugs? Do you think if you just get off the drugs after taking it for a year you're just going to roam happy with your life? No. The same treatment is going to go to you and everybody else who does drugs. Okay? Now, just to prove to you that I'm not lying to you here, I'm going to read you a poem. A very good poem that they even post up in prisons. They post this poem up in prisons to make these prisoners think. And this, this, this is what keeps them steady every day, just to tell you. Let's go to the poem. It's called The Crystal Meth Poem. Go to it. Welcome, Spaz Angel. Here you go. I destroy homes. Tear families apart. I take your children, and that's a start. I'm more valued than diamonds. I'm more precious than gold. The sorrow I bring is a sight to behold. If you need me, remember I'm easily found. I live all around you, in school and in town. I live with the rich. I live with the poor. I live just down the street, or maybe just next door. I'm made in a lab, but not one like you think. I can be under the kitchen sink, in your child's closet, or even out in the woods. 
If this scares you to death, then it certainly should. I have many names, but there's one you'll know best. I'm sure you heard me. My name is Crystal. Meth. My power is awesome. Try me, you'll see. But if you do, you may never break free. Just try me once, and I may let you go. But if you try me twice, then I may own your soul. When I possess you, you will steal. You will lie. You'll do what you have to do just to get high. The crimes you commit for my narcotic charms. You'll be worth the pleasures that you feel in my arms. You'll lie to your mother. You'll steal from your dad. When you see, th when you see their tears, you must be sad. Just forget your morals and how you were raised. I'll be your conscience. I'll teach you my ways. I take your kids from their parent. I take kids from their parents. I take parents from their kids. I turn people from God. I separate friends. I'll take everything from you. Your looks, your pride. I'll be with you always, right by your side. You'll give up everything. Your family, your home, your money, your true friend. Then you'll be alone. I'll take and take until you give no more to give. When I'm finished with you, you'll be lucky to live. If you try me, be warned, this is not a game. If I'm given the chance, I'll drive you insane. I'll ravage your body, I'll control your mind. I'll own you completely, your soul will be mine. The nightmares I'll give you while lying in bed, and voices you'll hear inside of your head. The sweats, the shakes, the visions from me. I just want you to know that these are the gifts from me. But then it's too late, you'll never know in your heart that you are now mine and, and we shall not part. You'll regret that you tried me, but you came to me, not I to you. You knew this would happen. You've been told. But you challenged my power. You chose to behold. You could have said no, then walked away. If you could live that day over, what would you say? My power is awesome, as I told you before. I can take your life, make it so dim and sore. I'll be your master, you'll be my slave. I'll even go with you when you go to your grave. Now that you've met me, what will you do? Will you try me or not? It's all up to you. I can show you more misery than words can tell. Come take my hand, I'll lead you to hell. Let me ask you all a question. Just, just let me ask you a question. Is that poem freaky or what? Isn't that poem actually freaky? You're hearing, like, the crystal meth talking to you. Like, I love that line. I mean, I don't like it because it's freaky and it's really true. But I love the line when the crystal meth said, I am more precious than gold. I love that. Because, you know, it's true. And once you're an addict, you are, and then that drug is more precious than gold. You're going to want it more than gold. It's going to be worth more to you than jewelry. It's true. And it will take over your soul. Like it says. But let's ask this. How, like why do you go on drugs? That's the next question I'm asking here. Why do you want to go on drugs? Let's go through a little list here, okay? First off, you have a problem with drugs. So what could it be? Could it be your past? Like did you have a bad childhood that affected your life? Or could it be that someone died in your family or one of your friends died and it really really put you in a depressed mode and you can't stand life because of it? Or are you a suicidal person and it causes you to want to drink alcohol like furiously or do drugs furiously? Like, what does it cause you to want to do when you do drugs? You know, I'll tell you something. And there's another thing I learned from other people who are drug addicts and other people who are scientists. I learned that some people who do drugs or drink alcohol, they are bored. They have nothing else better to do with their lives. They don't know what else to do when they're doing the same thing over and over again. Except they come home for work, come home, eat, probably go to sleep. They have nothing else better to do with their lives, apparently. So they think, okay, let's get high today. Okay, let's get drunk tonight. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of things to do with your life. What? How hard is it to want to call up one of your friends or one of your family members and say, hey, can I come over for dinner tonight? Hey, want to come over for dinner tonight? Hey, do you want to do this today? You know, there's all kinds of things you can do. When I hear the term bored, in my own opinion, I think that's a crock of shit. 
because you know what? There's all kinds of things to do. Okay, if you're going to be complaining that you don't have any money, if you're going to be complaining that you're homeless because you were buying drugs all those times with the money that you could have been using to put in a fund for yourself or your kids or anything for a new business, you know what, you fucked that up on your own because you could have used that money for yourself to make yourself happy, but no, you would have to use that on drugs that would turn your life into a bad state. Do you think that going on drugs is a good thing? Do you think so? Yo, know, what do you think you could do to solve it if you are on drugs? Okay, I'm not saying that people who are on drugs, not everybody likes it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to get off drugs, but they're too scared to because of the sickness. But can I ask you, what do you think you could do to stop yourself from doing drugs or becoming an alcoholic? What do you think you could do? That's the question I'm asking you today. What do you think you can do to solve your own problem? Okay, because I can help you solve this problem, but I'm just sort of the outreach messenger here, not the person that can actually take your sickness and drug problems away. Okay? So how do you think you can solve it on your own? Do you have a clue how you think you can solve it? I don't even know either, because I'm not in your shoes. I have to be empathetic. I have to, do have to show empathy, but I have to show empathy towards yourselves also who would do stupid things like this. But I will tell you this part, which is the last part of the column, the problem solving of these drugs. Let me ask you this. If you want to get off drugs today, if you want to get off drugs right now by watching this episode, okay? If you want to stop taking your withdrawal symptoms out on your family, if you want to stop hurting yourself daily from these drugs, let me say this to you. Now, go to rehab if it's that bad. Now, begin to want to get off the drugs. Not just for yourself. No, not just for your family, what other for other people. Do it for yourself. Your life is in jeopardy when you do drugs. Your life is in jeopardy. Because when your life is in jeopardy, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that you're just going to keep living and living and living the best life? No. Your life will just get worse and worse and worse and worse as it goes along. So, I suggest to you people today, get off drugs. Stop doing them. Stop completely. Stop the crystal meth. Stop the opiates. Stop everything. Anyways, that was Real Talk today. I hope I inspired you. Take care. Bye-bye. Quote of the day, let's all get along with one another so we can be dangerous together. Did Real Talk inspire you today? Well everybody, if it inspired you and you have a problem that you have at home or anywhere at all that you need help dealing with, please everybody, do not have an issue with the please. If you want to call me directly to let me know your problem and I can give you some help with it, please give me a call at my number right here where it says 647-741-0621 or if you rather email it to me because you rather do it by the technical social media way please email me at gpbes austin bullock at outlook.com okay now anytime you have a problem please don't forget to email me or call me thank you guys have a great day, and see y'all next week for Real Talk. Bye.